question two parallel steel wires support a horizontal bar at their lower ends when a load is attached to one of the wires find e for the wire let us understand given question there are two wires which kept at 50 mm apart length of these two wires is 5 m and diameter is equal to 10 mm horizontal bar mr rests at the end of these two wires now when the load equal to 5 kN is attached to this bar then there is the deflection in the bar and this horizontal bar is inclined at an angle equal to 2.4 degree and we have to find out the young's modulus or the modulus of elasticity for these wires now if we observe this diagram then here is the initial position of the horizontal bar that is mr and when we attach the load equal to 5 kN then this is the final position so we will show here the final position of this point r is r dash and here the angle made by this horizontal bar is equal to 2.4 degree so this is the data given and we have to find out young's modulus e so young's modulus e is equal to stress divided by strain so first we have to find out the value of delta l that is r r dash so delta l that means the elongation or the increase in the length of this a wire qr so how to find out this delta l now we will observe the triangle mr r dash now from this triangle if we have to find out the value of delta l then we know that the length of this horizontal bar mr is equal to 50 mm so mr dash is also equal to 50 mm so in triangle mr r dash we can say that delta l is equal to mr dash tan of 2.4 degree so mr dash is 50 mm so we will take here 50 tan of 2.4 which is equal to 2.095 now its a unit is millimeter because we have taken the length of the bar is equal is in millimeter now we will convert it into standard unit that is meter 2.095 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter now we will find out strain in the wire so strain is change in length by original length that is delta l divided by l so length of wire is 5 meter so when we calculate this then we will get strain is equal to 0.419 into 10 raised to minus 3 now we will find out stress so stress is applied force divided by cross sectional area so applied force is 5 kN standard unit is newton so we will take 5 into 10 raised to 3 and cross sectional area so here diameter of the wire is given so cross sectional area is pi by 4 d square now this millimeter we have to convert it into meter that is 10 by 1000 square so when we solve this we will get 636.94 into 10 raised to 5 newton per meter square so remember we have to take this stress in standard unit so standard unit is newton per meter square now we will calculate this young's modulus so it is stress by strain that is this term divided by this term now when we calculate then we will get 1520 into 10 raised to 8 so we can write this in other term that is 152 into 10 raised to 9 newton per meter square but in 10 raised to 9 that means we can write it as a giga newton so we can write here young's modulus e is equal to 152 giga newton per meter square